Hi fam, Random Chick, and I just finished doing the video previous to this on how to how I do my um, face foundation and how I do my blush and stuff. Um, I pretty much got face foundation on and blush and everything right now. You probably can't tell, but I don't know. But if you want to see that video, head on over there and see that video. It's in the description down below. Um, let's get started. I'm going to do... Um, Pretty much a um, brown smoky eye, or rather um, a nude smoky eye, something that looks neutral. So these are the colors that I'm using, and this is a palette by LA Colors um, Matte, I guess. And um, pretty much you've got your black, you've got your light brown, your lighter brown, your tan, and your white. So, anyways, what I'm going to do, and I know my bed, it doesn't have a sheet on it right at the moment. So, what I'm going to do is, let's see, we're going to get into it. First things first, I used a very, very light color. And I just take, and here's the brush I'm using, by the way. It's um, a pretty good size brush. I'm going to have to have a mirror that I did not remember doing or getting. So, yeah. It's harder to see for you with a mirror, but okay. So I just dip my brush in that very light color, and I start right at the corner of my eye, and I I take it in a little under halfway. You don't want to go halfway, so I take it in a little under halfway. I'm dipping again and doing the same for the other. So just be sure you get in there on that part good. So yeah. So you just do the inner creases of your eye. The inner creases, you know. After you do the inner creases of each one. We're going to take um, this color, which is um, an even darker color than that one. And we're just going to make a thin line of this color on the, the, in, the inner part of your eyelid. Just make a line, just like that. And I've already got enough product on it, so... We're going to also flip it around and do the inner part on this one. Just like that. Okay. Now I may not use all of these colors because I've got little eyelids. So we're going to, I'm going to take this um, really dark brown. So I'm going to take some of that product. And no, I haven't cleaned off my brush because it's, it helps the blending. Uh, anytime that I use eyeshadows and um, I go from lighter to darker, it actually helps me. I don't know if it does for everybody, but it helps me to blend it better. Like, I, I don't wipe my brush off. I don't know why. But if, okay, like if I'm using the same brush for another look, I will clean the brush before I do another look. But if I'm using it for just you know all the colors that I want to use it for then I just don't wipe it off I, I don't know why <laughs> so then that same color where you put that line in the middle you want to take that darker color and just make another line see that so yeah just make another line like so it's going to look messed up in the first. Get you some more product. Make another line on this side. Taking your brush and like swapping it uh, towards the outer part of your eye. Make a line. So if you can tell, it's already starting to shadow. So now what you want to do is you want to take the black and be careful when using black because it will drop everywhere so what you want to do is you take that black and you put it on the very end of your eye like that 
it looks messed up right now but when it blends it's pretty so take a little bit more of the black tap your brush get the product off and put it on the end again and if you have any fallout just take and you know tap it so right before you go blending You'll probably want to use a different brush because this has so much product in it now. And you don't want to blend a bunch of black all over your face. But if you're like, well, you can also use this brush if you want to clean it out right away. But if not, you're going to need another brush. So I'm opening its cousin. Dun dun. Okay, so now when you go to blend it, you want to start at the corner and blend inward like that because you're wanting that smoky look so just blend it up and in and if you feel like it's not dark enough for you usually it ain't dark enough for me after I blend it out yeah see that's like not dark enough then you add a little bit more and blend it and blend it and blend it until you get you want to add it slowly you don't want to add it extremely fast you want to start off slow and build your way up when it comes to uh trying to do something to perfection so that's not dark enough so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit of this brown this um this uh, darker brown right here and I'm going to take a little bit of that black and I'm going to mix it together so that it will be a little bit darker so taking the brown and don't ever okay I know I told you to leave the product on your brush so that you don't waste product but don't ever and I mean ever go to a dark color and then go to your light color and mix it and then go back and do light. You want to clean your brush out before you hit the light colors. But if you're doing dark colors, it's okay. Like if you're using black. But I always start with the lighter color and then switch over to the black before applying it to your eyes. Because if not, you're going to drag black into your other palette and it's going to be a mess. So that's how I do it. Okay, and then I take my brush and I just tap it one or two times. And I just dab, really. I don't swipe it. I put it up there and, like, dab it when I'm doing darker colors. Okay, so, see. So, just dab it along. Okay, it looks messed up right now, but, yeah, it'll be fine. So, then you want to go back and take your blended brush, or your blending brush. And just take it and uh, blend it like you did the other time. See, you're, um, you're blending and you're getting it darker slowly, which that's, that's good enough. That's dark enough for me. And because I'm not going anywhere anyways tonight, I just thought I would make a video because I got bored of my boring life okay so see so now that you have that blended what you want to do is either clean out one of the brushes that you're already using to do a little bit of lighter shade up under your eyebrow or you want to use another brush I'm just gonna clean off the blending brush that I was using and once I get the product out of there, I won't, I'm going to take the lightest color right here. And I'm just going to take my blending brush and go in there on that light color. And I'm going to hit it right up under my eyebrow and make a line up under my eyebrow on both sides. And if you're wondering why I'm not dipping in product so much, is because these brushes 
that I just now recently got. Really, really, really hold product. So, yeah. So, now for the fun part, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I use, I'm old school, I use the stick liners. They, they work just as good. Um, the problem with me is I have really sensitive eyes when it comes to eyeliners. And if I use, um, you know, say I use, uh, let's see, the plastic liners that where you have to roll it for it to come up. Oh my God, the, the air will blow and my eyes will water. There will be makeup everywhere. So, yeah. So I use this and I also use um, Maybelline liquid eyeliner. So... When it comes to eyeliner, I just, I've been putting it on for a while, so I can actually put it on with my eyes shut to get top and bottom. But if you're new to eyeliner, you want to try and stay in your waterline and just, you know, trace your waterline with it. And your eyes is going to like really water if you're not used to putting it on. And a lot of people, a lot of people um, that ain't used to putting it on usually just uses mascara to coat how to do it but how I do it is I just lift down my eye and I go along the waterline of my eye and then if you want it on top and bottom you put it in your eye you shut your eye and you just go around it and it will go on top and bottom but if you're not used to putting it on top and bottom put a lot on the bottom and then squint your eye like that and it'll go on top and bottom as well okay so that's that with the eyeliner moving along to the liquid eyeliner so here's the little um, liquid eyeliner brush and you get a good amount of product in it. I've had this for a while now. So what I like to do with this is I like to make um, the wings or make the um, the line on top of the eye because I have such little eyes and it makes my eyes appear to be bigger. So I just dipped a little brush down in the product. And... Uh, start small because I can't make the the lines really really big or thick on mine because my eyelids are so small so I start out in a small spot and I just work my way through it it's hard to talk and do it at the same time but as you can tell I'll show you the difference when you use an upper liner. If you've already got big eyes, the upper liner is going to make your eyes look huge. And a lot of people don't use it. But see, you can tell the difference. Look at, look at that eye compared to how wide that one looks now. So then I take the eyeliner, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Excuse me. And I pretty much do the same thing. I build it slowly. And it's actually hard as hell to get it to perfection. I hardly ever do the the wing thing because apparently for some reason I'll have a really perfect wing on one side and the other side just looks horrible so that's how I do my upper let me shut that up and put that back in the makeup so when it comes to mascara this is what I use it is called Makeup Plush Volume Express by Maybelline. It's really good mascara. Everybody knows how to put on mascara, so I don't have to tell you how to do that. But I will let you watch me put mine on. 
And have you ever just met them people that make some really weird faces when they're doing mascara? They like, uh, uh, or uh, uh, uh. I do it all the time. Usually mine's like, like I look dumb, like. Uh. So just pack that junk up like concrete. You can never go wrong with too much mascara. I just pack it on like concrete. But if you get to crying and it's packed on like concrete, God forbid, it will be everywhere. Okay, so packing, packing. Normally, if... I'm not on video, which I've done been on video for 15 minutes now, so I'm trying to speed here. Normally, if I'm not on video, I will uh, pack on mascara, about four or five different layers of it, just to make my eyelashes look really huge because I don't... I don't really get into all that fake lash and all that other crap. It's just not worth my time. So, yeah. So, let me go ahead and put this up. Which, we're at 16 minutes, guys. And this is a long freaking video for me. Normally, I do not do really long videos. But, here I am. Who would have thunk it? Doing an extremely long video, and now I'm trying to put everything in its place because I just got so much makeup. You wouldn't believe how much makeup. And when it comes to lipstick, the old trusty black. I don't know why I want to use black. I just feel daring, daring, I guess. So where's the uh, mirror, mirror on the wall? Who's the craziest of them all? Okay. Mm -hmm. Black. I ain't gonna do no lip lip gloss. Yeah, I got plenty of lip gloss, but I don't feel like doing it. Not after all that. <laughs> and when it comes to eyebrows I'll do another video on them some other day I just don't feel like doing my eyebrows but I'm not really good I'm not really good at eyebrows just so you know so here's the finished look let me let my hair down cause right now I just got out of the shower and my hair is like wet hmm <laughs> hmm so here's the finished look you couldn't really tell, like, the colors and stuff like that. And my teeth need to be whitened, by the way, so sorry for that. And yes, I do brush my teeth, so don't go there. But, yeah, here's the finished look. My eyebrows, they don't really look that bad, because I kind of, like, plucked them and straightened them up and stuff. But they do need to be filled in. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And if you like this video, comment down below. Let me know. And I will make a lot more videos for everybody out there. Take care, fam. Have a blessed day.